If we're going to use the LTPA aspect of authentication with Webster, what we need to define here is the concept of the LDAP registry. So under the global security area, we have an option to find our lightweight directory access protocol registry component piece. So there's several different properties in here that we'll have to set up. Of course, we're going to have to have some type of a login ID. So you have to have some type of a user ID, first of all, followed by the password information. So these, these are the IDs associated with the login aspects of the LDAP architecture. After that, we're going to be able to specify the type of architecture we're going to be working with. So we've got a drop-down list box here from which we can pick and choose exactly which one of the LDAP architectures we want to go with. We have the host information, so my host server name is going to go here. Port address for an LDAP architecture is always going to be uh, the base address of port address 389. And the last thing we have here is the, what's called the distinguished name. So the distinguished name is basically the root area, uh, the top end login aspect for the uh, for the LDAP architecture itself. So inside of there, my distinguished name might be my company name, could be a group name, uh, could be a, a department name, something along that line to get me started for the lookup process of going in and identifying uh, and looking up different individuals inside this architecture. So each of the different types here is going to be supported by a particular vendor. So each of these different vendor pieces has a plug-in piece that basically will tie into uh, the underneath aspects of the security area of the WebSphere environment. And then from there, we can do all of our lookup processing.